everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is David. Today we are taking a look at something that I really enjoy doing and that is product photography. Today I'm going to share with you some tips that will help you improve your product photography and take it to that next level. And these three tips are theme, character, and supplementary items. If you head on over to my Instagram, at canon.dude, you'll see that it's mostly product photography of cameras, coffee, EDC, and most recently playing cards. And I, I don't know man, there's just something so satisfying about shooting playing cards. I think it's just the textures on the box or something. It's just like, it looks so good when you edit it. Anyways, I'm rambling. I just recently picked up this Raven the Pirate coin, which is freaking badass as the skull and everything. So I'm going to use this as the item that I'm going to build a set around and apply theme, character, and supplementary items to really show you how you can build a set around a particular item. Doesn't matter what it is, you could apply this to coffee, which I actually will do at the end of the video so you can see how it works with other types of photography. And without further ado, let's just jump into the first one, which is theme. Now, the theme is the subject your photo will revolve around. If you don't know what theme to build around your item, study it. Look at the details of the item itself, the packaging, and so on. If you're still unsure, look up the company that made the item and see how they described it on their website. So for this first example, we're using this coin. The raven and skull on the front and back of the coin gives me a strong indication that this is a gold doubloon, which means the theme will revolve around pirates. Just like any story, your photo needs character. What I mean by that is what kind of set or background you want to build around the theme. Since my theme is pirates, I want to use textures typically associated with pirates. The textures I thought of are leather, wood, and metal. Now, you can use all these textures in your set or mix and match a few. Now that I have my set, let's move on to the last point, which is supplementary items. Just like taking your supplements before a hard workout, supplementary items enhance your photo. You want to make sure you utilize items that fit with the theme and character of the image. Earlier, I mentioned that the coin looks like a gold doubloon, so I'm going to add some jewelry to create the illusion that this was found in a treasure chest. Pirates typically also carry a scimitar, so I'll add that into the frame to give it a little bit more depth. Now that all my items have been placed, the final image should look something like this. Now to change things up, let's apply this to my favorite thing, which is coffee. Especially because coffee tends to have a broad range of themes, characters, and supplementary items, it can be a little difficult to pinpoint exactly what it is you want, but nonetheless, here are the results I came up with applying these tips. Folks, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found these three tips helpful. Tag me on some of your images on Instagram, at CanonDude. I definitely want to see your work and see how far we could take our photography together. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hit the smash button or subscribe button. I got to stop saying smash. I think it's because I watched My Hero Academia a little too much. And hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.